Surviving a near-death experience will give anyone a new outlook on life. Paula Coulter of Prior Lake was told that she might never walk or even talk again. She and her family were on the 35W bridge when it collapsed in 2007. Paula suffered severe brain and spinal injuries. Now, as Mike Binkley reports, she's not fully healed, but thankful for how far she's come. You just kind of have to think about that. Paula Coulter doesn't always appear to be in pain at her bridal shop in Burnsville. But after 30 plus surgeries in eight years, it's still difficult to stand for long periods of time. For me, this place keeps me busy. It keeps my brain having to think about stuff other than myself. Her family's van plummeted when the bridge collapsed in August of 2007. She didn't gain full consciousness until about six weeks later. A rehab doctor came and talked to my dad and I um, and told us that we should probably start looking for homes because she would never walk or talk again. I was a runner before this all happened, and I truly believed that I would get myself back there. I truly did. But you're not there yet? Nope. I don't think I ever will be. This, though, is a symbol of her determination to deal with the challenges and stay away from self-pity. I think you want to go with this veil. She and her family took a chance and opened a new business, Effie's Bridal, nearly two years ago. You never know if you'll be here tomorrow, so you just always have to pre appreciate what you have today, knowing that um, you just don't know. So you can keep your hair down. To see where she's come today, it's just like remarkable. And she's like one of the hardest workers I know. And she's so motivated to get better physically and mentally. And I don't think anyone ever thought she would be where she is today. She'll likely face physical challenges for the rest of her life, but she hopes by staying busy, she won't notice as much. I have to keep telling myself, don't give up. Just keep your faith. And just keep going in. Paula's husband and two daughters were also hurt in the collapse, but not as seriously. The estate settled with the family for more than $3 million for medical bills and other expenses. But Paula says that she would give it all back in a minute to have her health back.